Hello everyone, welcome back to today's video. Hopefully you're having a great Tuesday so far. The beginning of the week is always challenging, but hopefully you are doing well. Uh, let me know how you're doing down in the comments below and I will reply on how I'm doing. I'm probably very busy with school. But anyway, let's get straight into this one. Today we are doing a Spigot plugin tutorial on head database. This is a plugin that I use a lot personally. Even in my custom cores and stuff, I always use their API because it's so helpful and just so easy to use. Big servers like Hypixel, Cubecraft also use it for their build teams to help out while building as well according to the plugin page so lots of people use it it's very very uh downloaded it is a premium plugin it is 9.99 over on the spigot forum so feel free to use this if you want a alternative i always like giving alternatives to paid plugins is skulls which is kind of the same thing but using a different site to grab the heads from this is just one of the most uh popular ones so i thought i would cover head database today Let's go ahead and check it out a little bit. So what does this have? This has over 25,000 heads, um, which is pretty cool. It pulls all the heads from the Minecraft Heads website. So if you go ahead and go to the Minecraft Heads website, um, you can actually go ahead and look at all the heads that it pulls in. And if you have and submit heads to this Minecraft Heads website, it's gonna be pulled into head database as well. It has a GUI, so you can pull heads from the different categories and everything. Um, it has vault items and player point. Um, type of currency support. So if you use those and you want to give heads as a reward, you can go ahead and set that up as well. Um, you can gain um, and suggest heads for the future database updates. It can let you customize the GUI. Um, it has feature tag groups and a API system, which is quite cool. We'll go over the commands and stuff in a moment. The permission is head database dot open or head DB dot open. Um, and this lets you open up the GUI. You have the P head, which gives you yourself your player's head and you have the admin to reload, give the random categories, open the database for a specific player. All that good stuff is the admin permissions. Um, you can go through all the individual permissions as well for buying heads and uh, category names and stuff. However, you want to set that up for your server. They have the config, we'll go over that in a second. The API is what's really cool about this. Um, you can put this in any plugin that you want as well. You can use Deluxe Menu, they have that as well. Um, but in the API, it's very easy to go ahead and um, add a head. They go through this very easily here on the GitHub. All you have to do is uh, call the API and then the item API.get item head and then the number from head database. And then you got yourself that custom head in your menu, which is quite cool. We support it on Fate Hub, and um, that is really cool as well. There's obviously a Hypixel Cubecraft Hive, and then they also have a Discord support server. If you run into any problems with the plugin, you can go ahead and ask there. But all you have to do to download this is click download now, and then you're going to plop it into your plugins folder, and then go ahead and start the server, and then you can actually configure it to your liking. Let's take a little quick look over here. You have the language. You can uh, take any of the language files that you want. They have a few pre-made ones. Uh, you have the cooldown. Do you want to cool down every time you click a head so you don't have to um, have it spammed? Should you allow overflowing heads? Should you drop overflowing heads? Should it send a message? How often should the update checks be sent? Uh, should invalid heads be removed from inventory? So if you have a creative server and they're invalid, you probably should turn that on. Uh, should you keep the category on the heads? You can do whatever you want from there. Should you show no permission in the search? Should you disable any certain heads? You can disable them there by the ID or the tag. Um, should you disable any categories? So you can have custom categories and stuff. And you can obviously disable these to your liking as well. Should you rename any of the heads anything? So the, uh, all you have to do is the ID and then the name you want it to be. So if you want custom names or anything, you can do that. Should you enable suggest um, search, info, command, all that good stuff, you can disable and enable there. How many of the menu category slots should there be? And then here is all of the custom commands you can set up to open it, slash menu, etc. And then here is where you can actually set up the items for the different days and the different categories, all that good stuff. Should there be arrows in the menu? Should there, what those, should those items be? Should there be a chat search? Should you have any load delays? Should you return a name on the pickup? Should you show a message or closed inventory on a purchase of a head? Uh, what are the prices of all those heads if you enable that? Should you head send any heads, custom ones, to the database to be added for other people's servers and all that good stuff? And then uh, you have all the textures individually you can use to your liking as well. That's pretty much the config for you. Let's hop in game. Let's type HDB and you can see here is the actual menu. You got alphabet animals, blocks, decorations, food and drinks, humans, humanoids, um, that's pretty much just all of the other heads, miscellaneous, monsters, plants, custom server heads. So this is whatever you add yourself. Valentine's Day, winter, 
recently added. So you can see these are going to be the heads that you set in the configure file there. Plugin info, you can suggest heads, search for heads as well. So if I want an alphabet head, if I want to do a just a normal font, and then I can have all of the letters here. If I want the letter Y, I can go ahead and have this head and just place down the letter Y head. So it's very useful if you want to spell these out. You got the different types of blocks. So if you want, let's say bark, there you go. You have a bark head. If you want to grab a miscellaneous head, let's say, and you want to grab the Adobe XD, there you go. You got Adobe XD there. So it's very easy. And then obviously you can get your own player head by doing slash P head, the username. So mine is dev underscore YT. And then I got myself my own head right there pretty easy to use and all that good stuff and you know you have thousands of heads here so good luck um trying to run out of heads or anything you can pretty much get whatever you want here use it in buildings here's some bacon um and just have some fun around with that so if you have any questions for the resource author i recommend reaching out to them on discord otherwise um thanks so much for watching make sure to subscribe and i will see you in the next video tomorrow which is going to be a 5m resource thanks so much for watching everyone and i'll see you tomorrow enjoy this one day.